Standing about 10 metres away from her, Denise, has given me a little wave and a smile, so she's clearly very relaxed. Very relaxed, confident in her ability, that she's wintered well. She's running brilliantly, you know, 7-11 already this season. Um, you know, she's enjoying her athletics. She's an athlete in the right place, right frame of mind. And she took great confidence in what she achieved last year, not just at Beijing, but the anniversary games, which we can look at now, sub-11. Sub-11, which is, you know, it's world-class. It's... it's just a, such a brilliant race to watch her watch this back is, is just great and it, she's still so much more potential and she had a phenomenal season last year going sub as you said sub 11 running you know just brilliantly all season and we just look forward to see what she can do yeah and of course twin tracking with her studies as well multi-talented steve crown Yes, and talent isn't just about, as you're pointing out, the physical attributes. It's whether you can handle the big occasion, and Dina Rasha-Smith has very much shown she can do that and must really be looking forward to this Olympic year. Started with a great indoor season in 2015. Hasn't quite run as fast as that yet, but of course she could well do that here today. This, though, only the heats. We've just seen skippers through safely. But in this race, we have the third, fourth, and fifth fastest athletes in the world. We've got Desiree Henry, Karina Horn, Barbara Pierre is quicker than Dina Rasha Smith, and the new sensation from Poland, Eva Svoboda, Santos of Brazil, Bryant of the USA, and Rolida from Germany. So Desiree Henry, now a very important part of a very strong British relay quartet, still just 20 years of age herself, close to her personal best already this year indoors. Next to her, Karina Horn of South Africa. A big meet in Berlin, just recently run very well. New person, best indoors of 719. Then Barbara Pierre, 709. And Pierre, very typical of a good 60 meter indoor sprinter. Very good starter. And next to her, of course, Dina Rasher Smith. And a bit of a test here, and we are expecting, of course, that she will get in the top three here and go through to the final, but alongside her, 18-year-old has just broken the world junior record from Svoboda. And if you want to look at a stature of a 60-meter indoor runner, this is one here. All of the power below the waist with Svoboda. Improving all of the time, 7.07, that new world junior record. And this is Santos, almost broke 11 seconds outdoors last year and running very well already, getting ready for the Olympics in her home country, of course. Desiree Bryant in the United States. She goes in lane seven. Another diminutive sprinter. And then on the outside, Cindy Rolida, who will go in her specialist event, if you like, the 60 hurdles, a little later on. So a bit of a warm-up for her here on the flat. Brilliant year for her. Over the hurdles last year, silver medal in Beijing. Real surprise, that was. So Dina Asher-Smith right in the middle, and you've already probably got an idea, the crowd, the sellout crowd here in Glasgow. We're very much warming to her as one of our big new stars. But she'll have to be good here. Pierre in lane three on her left. Spoboda, the 18-year-old, on her right. Watch out for Santos of Brazil as well. There are two fastest loser spots as well. A little twitch from Dina Rasher Smith, but gets away there. Barbara Pierre gets another good start. Svoboda coming through. It's these three clear at the moment, but it's Dina Rasher Smith. 7 1 6. Svoboda second, Pierre third. Pierre just faded a bit after a pretty good start. I was just a bit worried at the start there. Colin and I, with a little shake of the hand from Colin, uh, but a clean start and a really good performance from Dina Rasher Smith there, particularly in the last 20 30 meters and handled, you have to say, Colin, the pressure of two athletes who have run quicker than her this year, particularly Svoboda for me, who's been in such good form, but she looked very, very good there. The most important thing, as you said, Steve, is to qualify. And, you know, th these first races are really tricky for sprinters, and I know I'm not making any excuses for them. I used to do it myself, but you don't have the fact you don't warm up enough to really get all the energy systems going, everything flowing well. So for me, Dina, to take this victory, as you said, over athletes who are faster than this year is a really good sign and we'll fill up with a lot of confidence going into the final. I would say that she'll find close to a tenth, I'd have thought, in the next round.
bit more relaxed. She can enjoy, hopefully, be up against her main arrival. And she's kind of used to running against Daphne Inchsing. So a good win for Dean Asher Smith, safely through to the final a little later on. Jazeera Henry had a really good run right over in lane one in fourth place, and she, I think, will be quick enough to get to the final also. Let's hear from Dina now. Well, you always light up the track with your smile and your running, and a another fine performance, and you've made a tremendous start to the season. How was that? Um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with the start that I've made to the season. I mean, I, I wanted to get a better start.